Normally when people hear the term chemical engineering, they just think of it as one big subject or as one specific career line. But in reality, there is no subject or even a career called chemical engineering. But rather, chemical engineering is built upon many, many, many different, field, different fields and principles. And within chemical engineering, every student has a chance to specialize in a different area. And their workplace can change depending on what they choose to specialize in. And luckily for chemical engineers, there are multiple different specialization areas that they can pursue. So in this video, we are going to have a look at some of the specialization areas available for chemical engineers. So do remember to watch the video till the very end. And if you do like it, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the Chemical Engineering Life channel for more videos. Thank you. and the most common specialization area within chemical engineering is process engineering. Now process engineering simply told is basically the study of converting raw materials into high value products. Let's take a product such as biodiesel which can be produced from cooking oil. People with process engineering specialization are the ones who provide their expertise in making that conversion. Now normally as a layman if you look at cooking oil you probably won't guess that this can be converted into something as biodiesel because that is a job for a process engineer and literally everything that you see around you has been produced by a prior process engineer literally everything from your perfume to toothpaste to medicine to processed foods everything anything that has been produced using raw materials has been done so by a process engineer so undoubtedly process engineers have a very strong influence on everyday lives now, on the other hand, in terms of academics, this is a very mathematical intensive specialization and has very little to zero to do with chemistry itself. You will come to learn about the key principles including process design, process control, catalysis, and anything to do with the production process. And even recently, process engineering has also added the machine learning, data analysis, and programming principles, which was not in the case in the previous years. So, this is a huge area with focus on many different topics and principles. In terms of industrial prospects, you can be rest assured that there are many possibilities in the industry. Because as I said, literally everything that you see around you is produced from a raw material and hence by a process engineer. Your perfumes, your toothpaste, your cornflakes, literally everything. And typically the most common and the biggest industries that tend to employ process engineers are oil and gas, pharmaceuticals, food and water and water treatment. So definitely not a bad specialization to have in order to lead a lucrative career in the industry. Another specialization area for chemical engineers is the product engineering line. Now product engineering line is the study where you come to learn more about products and their properties and understand how they can be marketed. To define it more clearly, you will come to learn about the process of innovating, designing, developing, testing, and finally launching a product. So for example, let's say that you work for a pharma company and they have conceptualized their new product. Then it will be your duty as a product engineer to help them develop it, make it look appealing, check for the requirements, create the recipe, and help market the product for the customers. Therefore. This specialization is kind of a mix of both engineering and business and you will be expected to excel in both. In terms of academics, you will be learning a lot of everything from chemistry, physics, business, marketing and many other both engineering and business lines. Unlike process engineering, this is not as mathematically intensive but rather your critical and logical thinking will be challenged for problem solving. But of course, once you have designed your product and you have made your specifications, only then will you allow the process engineers to start producing the product in large scale. Uh, in terms of industrial prospects, you have to remember that every industry is every day working on launching new products and therefore they need people who can help them design and launch these products. So uh, opportunities are immense for product engineers and since product development is a very long process, therefore you'll probably be working on one product for many years 
and you can also find employment within any role or in any of the other phases of the product development process. And to name a few of the industries where product engineers are employed could include pharmaceuticals, electronics, cosmetics, and medical devices. Another specialization line for chemical engineers is the environmental and energy engineering line. Now, many people tend to confuse this with the actual environmental engineering degree, but you have to remember that as a chemical engineer, you don't necessarily learn about solving climate change or about the weather or any other topics that you normally would learn in a core in environmental engineering area. But rather, as a chemical engineer, this specialization is focused on learning about how you can reduce the energy use and to control the environmental load of production facilities. So basically, if you are working in a cement factory, then through this specialization, you learn how to come up with methods on reducing the energy use and reducing the carbon dioxide emission. So indirectly, you are kind of reducing the climate change effect, but your main focus will be entirely upon the production principles. Therefore, if you wish to pursue this specialization, then it is definitely a good idea for you to have a look into what exactly it entails at your university, or rather than assuming that you will be working as an environmental scientist for climate change or the weather report. In terms of academics, it is not a very different line from process engineering, and you can expect a great deal of mathematics. But unlike process engineering, which focuses on the entire production process, you will merely be focusing on the energy and waste management of the production facilities. In terms of industrial prospects, this is definitely the need of the hour and the most sought out specialization in the industry right now. The reason being global warming. We are of course facing a climate challenge and you already may have noticed that all the oil and gas and other companies are trying to shift towards sustainability and are focused on reducing their waste load. So if you're going into the industry, then your main employer could be oil and gas, pharma, cement productions, and of course, you can even go into consulting. Another specialization line for chemical engineers is the polymer engineering line. Now the polymer engineering line does not get that much recognition as the previous specializations that we have looked at, but it is still as important as the others. Also, it is the only one that has nothing to do with production and or processes. Instead, it is much more focused on core chemistry and rheology and other basic sciences. It still have loads of mathematics, but not as high level as the previous specializations. You will come to learn about the how to you can synthesize the polymers, what the chemical compositions are, and what are the effects of changing these compositions on the final product. And there are so many things around us which are dependent on polymers such as your clothing, plastic bags, even silicone hard walls. So the study has a very strong influence on our everyday lives. And therefore, in terms of industrial prospects, there are so many industries that are currently looking for people with expertise in this area. And you can easily find employment in, in industries such as petrochemicals, packaging, support, and even automobiles. Another specialization line for chemical engineers is the material science line. Now the material science, as the name suggests, is the study of properties and applications of different materials. For example, how a material interacts with the surroundings, how to protect something from corrosion and so on and so on. You will come to learn to examine the structure of these materials from the atomic scales all the way up to the macro scale. For example, when we normally look at cement, we just see cement, right? But for material scientists, they examine the material to the lowest scale and in order to understand the properties, applications and uses of that material on the surroundings. So once again, like polymer engineering, you will be going in the very smallest details in the basic sciences such as chemistry and physics. And of course, in terms of industrial prospects, material scientists are a dime in a dozen. It is a very old and established career line and many industries are dependent on their expertise to develop, launch, and improve their products. And you could expect to end up working for oil and gas, nanotech, telecommunications, and the construction industry. And 
well that was all for this video and if you feel like we missed out on an area then do remember to tell us in the comments below. And also don't forget to visit our website www.chemiclife.com and join the growing chemical engineering community. And also don't forget to share and subscribe to Chemical Engineering Life for more videos. Thank you and have a great day.